What's up? So, those couple people that were asking me to do a video on how to fit an image into the cur you know, to curve an image for a Tumblr. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that here. This is a template in Photoshop that I downloaded from, I believe it was in the Tumblr's 101 group. And basically, it's, uh, oh, what do you call it? Is on there, you download it, and you have the template. So, once you have the template, you essentially just got to kind of fit the image in. Um, some people have trouble with that. You know, it gets tedious once you know the steps it's actually pretty simple um, what we're gonna do is this is the image that was requested so I'm essentially I'm just gonna copy the image and I'm gonna go into Photoshop and paste it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my selection tool and move it up to where if you notice the left side it kinda actually even puts the purple on there for you the guidelines I'm gonna go up to where I'm basically over the lines on both once I'm at this point, I will go to edit, and then I'm gonna to go to free transform. What this is gonna do is let me basically just kind of move it. So what I wanna do is cover all of the white space. All of the checkered pattern is gonna be transparent. So essentially I wanna cover all of it barely though. So I'm good at the top. Matter of fact, they even have the guides, that's awesome. And I'm good at the bottom. All right. So once you've done that, you have to hit enter to accept the transform. Now I'm going to go back into the edit menu up here and I'm going to go to transform and then warp. And this essentially gives you some little pinpoints where you can move the image around. So first things first is I'm going to get this corner. It's going to look funky at first, but you essentially want to drag this corner right inside this white. Don't go inside. You just want to barely overlap the white. So I'm going to drag this about right here give or take then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom corner barely overlap and then we take our side points and we move it in so we make sure that it's real close okay we're pretty close we're gonna straighten it out a little bit and you can use these as a guide with the the grid lock so just, you know, you can play with it. The key thing is just making sure you're barely overlapping that line a little bit. Without distorting the image too much. Okay. That looks good there. That actually was already perfect. But you can kind of see what I'm doing as far as getting in the lines. Do the corners first will make it doing the corners first will make it a lot easier for you. Okay, let's get this right here. And if y'all can hear my air conditioner in the background, I'm sorry, it's extremely hot in here. Well it was, so I had to cool it off. Okay, so we got our corners, so we'll stretch everything else up. And if you find that you're having problems getting it in the line, move it left or right, that'll help. It'll kind of distort a little bit, but distorts the wrong word but it'll make the image look weird a little bit but that a little bit's okay mm, check before even around it looks all right so we'll bring these in kind of make them just barely outside the line there and what that did was that kind of goofed that up so get that we'll check our border everything looks pretty kosher so we'll save it so this essentially is fit this into this image now when you print it you're gonna cut it out anyway so just go from there on how you do that but we're gonna go to uh, file and we're gonna do if we save we're just gonna be saving our template file so don't do that do um leave it's used to be called save for web I don't see that Oh, that's why. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and save it. I can always delete the layer. And this is always going to, I should have mentioned that earlier. When you paste the image in here, it's going to make it a new layer. So you can always go back and just delete that layer. And it'll bring you right back to your to your template. So, where is, okay, export, save for web. Here we go. So we'll go to export and save for web. If you're on Adobe Creative Cloud, 
then you'll do safer web otherwise it would be in here somewhere and it's gonna basically bring this up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a JPEG no I lied get a PNG now I'm gonna look at a save option real quick before I tell you that that's the best way you know what it probably be just fine to just do a save as but call it what you want to call it so we'll do event wait is that right I don't even know what I'm looking at here no it's not the Avengers but Marvel Marvel curve whatever you want to call it and we're going to save it as a PNG file. Um, if I remember right, and correct me in the comments if you want, um, in the Cricut and the Silhouette software, doesn't it read PNG files? I'm pretty sure it does. So we'll save it as that. Compression, we're going to do no, no, none essentially. We don't want to really, well, I guess we want to shrink it down a little bit but it doesn't matter because the more we compress the more that we do it's going to reduce the quality of our image now in this example you're going to be basically taking this from here or you're going to print it straight to your your vinyl cutter or your whatever it is you're printing it on and so we really don't need the quality now if you're uploading it to the internet you want to uh, do a little compression but for, the, for this we're not going to do any and so now that's done we'll go to where did I save that let me find that real quick that's another thing make sure you know where you're saving your pictures guess I can just do this mm, pictures Photoshop okay fair enough pictures Photoshop here we go and this is what it's going to look like right here um, see now this right here I would actually tweak this a little bit you can see the white border there so what I would do is you always want to check your work I wonder if I can get back into I'm pretty sure I can let's go to transform and then warp again we'll just drag that down just a little bit and keep in mind this is gonna re because I saved it I'm pretty much having to start over so you want to get everything done the best you can while you're there. Uh, it's close. Let's see how it looks. All right. My curve line is off some though. Uh, you can always Control Z or Command Z if you're on a Mac to go back. So now we'll do save as again. Oh wait, I gotta apply that first. We're just gonna save it as the same image, so we'll overwrite it. Okay. Now let's see what it looks like. And then it, it's not the right one. That is. transform so we, we want to make sure it's right before we print it because we definitely don't want to be wasting that expensive vinyl I've had to buy a lot of that stuff for my wife so I fully understand that that stuff can get really pricey oh okay at this point I think yeah I'm gonna undo that okay that was the problem I didn't have that side down enough okay mm, keep doing that
Or, oh yeah, that was the template. No, no, no. We're not going for PSD. We're going for PNG. That save. Yes. Okay. Now let's see how this looks. Okay, and then you know, pretty much, you know, this side kind of got shifted over a little bit. So, I mean, if you want to fix that, that's fine. Um, it's just you just keep going back to edit and then the transform and warp. You know, it's funny is the first time I did this, which was a little earlier. I think it took a total of like 30 seconds, but because I'm in, well, I'm on a different computer and none of my presets or settings are here, but. And I'm trying to show people it's uh, being goofy. That's typically how it works. Sorry about the notifications that are popping up on Facebook. I think it's actually pertaining to this. Okay, oh, we're going to go with that. That's close enough. We could print that, cut it out, stick it on a tumbler, done. I mean, just make sure that everything looks pretty natural as far as your curves go. But as long as it fits into that space, it should be good to go. Other than I'm going to call it for this video, and I will... Oh, well. I will uh, see you guys in the next one. I'm going to start doing more videos on these things. So I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do my Cuptisserie build. I'll have a video on that. I will have a, and that, by the way, that got rid of the rest of that space. Um, so I'm going to do a video on my Cuptisserie build. I'm going to do some other videos on, what do you, uh, I'm going to help my wife record some of the methods she does for doing her epoxy. And I've got like three different builds of tumblers that I'm going to, show so I'll have those see what else oh and then uh, I'm in a 24 by 30 foot shop this is my office inside here though I'm actually about to redo all of redo all of the shop I'm tearing the whole thing apart putting it all back together and set it up setting her up an office and a workspace in there so I'll probably have some progress on that as we go other than that though I will holler at you guys later